Welcome back guys to another PvP build for New World. I'm on my PvP Immortal Tank with full heavy armor, sword and ice gauntlet. On the armor I have two pieces of the level 60 faction gear which gives resilient and refreshing strength and constitution as traits. Then two Harbinger set pieces which gives invigorated and refreshing with constitution so perfect as tank. And on the pants just a random piece with again constitution and freedom as perk which decreases the slow stun and silences for 4.5% with refreshing ward which also gives a little bit of cooldown reduction. On the shield, a sturdy one, which decreases our stamina damage by almost 9%. And also refreshing, another 2.5% cooldown reduction. And thrust shield ward, which decreases our thrust damage. Pretty damn good shield, I bought it for 14 gold. As weapons, the same weapons like on my PvE tank. And a winter wish from Garden of Genesis, a ice gauntlet, but it really doesn't matter to be honest. Just slot a good sword with constitution and a ice gauntlet with constitution would be better. I only have this one. On the amulet, a quest item called Infinity Crystal, which gives divine fortified and health, divine 9% more healing income. Then 14% longer fortify and 9% more health. Pretty damn strong perks. The stat garbage with strength. Constitution would be better, but I mainly use it for the three perks. A swing, just a self-crafted one with strength constitution, with hearty 9% max stamina and sacred, almost 8% outgoing healing. You can also put a Life stuff here instead of the ice gauntlet. As earring, also another self crafted one with constitution and end. Full con would be better, of course. With healthy toast, when you drink a mana potion, gain almost 9% of your max health. Mana potions shares a own cooldown of 15 seconds. So we have in total 3 health potions with this nice perk here. A second perk, refreshing evasion another cooldown reduction. As buffered hearty meal for HP regen and this one with 20 constitution, the 40 constitution would be better of course, but it's expensive as fuck. As potions, like I said before, infuse health potions, 30 seconds cooldown, infuse regeneration potion, another 30 seconds cooldown, but an old cooldown, and mana potions, which gives us 1.3, 1.4k health with this juicy trade, healthy toast. Quick look on the attribute points. I put everything in constitution. If you have a life stuff, you can also put some points in focus for extra healing. The rest stats are just from the armor. Let's take a quick look on the sword and shield points. I put almost every single point on the right side, only three points on the left side. Left side mainly for mobility to be able to move faster while blocking. Our three active skills are shield bash, a small front AoE stun, shield rush, another front AoE and knockback, and defined stance which gives damage reduction by 30%. And with this passive here, it also heals after the duration ends. The most important passive, this one, Defensive Formation, which gives 30% damage reduction within 2 meters. So your group members can also benefit from this buff here. Super powerful, especially for outposts and for war fights. On the back bar, the ice gauntlet. I mainly use those two skills here ice shower and entombed. Entombed gives almost 10 seconds immortality and ice shower to root the enemies to be able to go over line of sight and heal myself. 
and sometimes they even use Iron Storm just to go a little bit aggressive and to slow the enemies. That's it with the PvP build, just a quick showcase. Make sure to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it guys. Check out my gameplay footage, I will link it in the description below. Now have some fun with my tank build and I see you hopefully in the next video.